Hello. En la, en la conversación, ¿verdad? Hello, bueno. teacher. Hello, Hello teacher. teacher. How are you today? <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. I like you are talking about the class. <laughs> Thank you. How have you been? How are you today? Today, uh, you are beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I always teacher, always teacher. Thank you. I will say always, always. always. <laughs> okay, my dear. Thank you very much, Isabelita. Thank you to everybody for being here. Uh, so uh, today we are going to start unit, I mean, section number four. Okay? Section yes. number four. <laughs> I hope you have had a nice weekend. Okay? And I would yes. like to ask you about the platform. What about the platform? ¿Cómo estuvo la plataforma, chicos? Yo sé que a algunos les dio algún problemita, pero me gustaría conocer si hay alguien Mi que... Mi problema realmente... fue que había un espacio extra. Eso era, ¿verdad? Sí, por eso me no me aceptaba. Vaya, me pero... In the, in the question mark. In the question mark. Ah, yes, yeah. yes, the question mark. Yes, that's right. I, I, wrote, I wrote it with a space in between question mark. And yes, that's, that's, that's uh, my, my mistake. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. El, el espacio y con eso ya. Okay, I thank you very much for sharing. Les agradezco mucho por compartir, ¿verdad? ¿Cuáles fueron los errorcitos que encontraron? Porque a veces, aunque la respuesta esté correcta, como ustedes vieron, por uno de esos caracteres que esté o, o no esté, ¿verdad? O un espacio de más, ya se les complica. Okay, my dear, thank you very much for being here. So we are going to start. Uh, we are going to continue with the presentation that I had the last class, but I want to share with you in what part of the platform we exactly will be talking about tonight. So let's see here. Okay, uh, if you remember in the previous class, we were practicing uh, how to talk about hairstyle, uh, style, sorry, hairstyle and how, how to talk about age, how to talk about height, and so on. So, uh, we are going to just give a, a fast uh, review um, to this part, but today we are going to focus on the last part of the class that says in this session is 4.2. Participants will listen a conversation between two people describing another person. Adjectives of appearance will be practiced, practiced in this class. Okay, very good. So um, we are going to focus on the presentation that I will give you uh, to continue. And then we are going to perform a conversation. Okay. So let's see. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing this. And then I'm going to continue. Let's see, let's see, let's share, and then I'm going to share my presentation. Okay. okay, very good. So if you remember, in the last class, uh, we talked about physical description for height, for build, for hair, for face, and for age, okay? And uh, we said, Let's see. 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 For hair, we said that we say, uh, depending on the length, we can say shoulder length, short, long, medium, or average. For style, we say curly, wavy, straight, or bold. Okay, for age, we say old, middle age, uh, young. For face, we have, uh, depending on the, on the 
form of the face of the people, we can say pear, round, oval, heart-shaped. Uh, we can say oblong, triangular, square, diamond. And for a build, we can say fit, thin, slim, muscular, of average build, plump, well-built, and fat, okay? So that we have a, as physical description. And then we have a, different types of hair depending on, on the, a, we can say the color, we can say the length, for example, long, short, shoulder length, straight, wavy, curly, bold, red, blonde, brown, fair, and dark. Um, about the face, I said uh, previously, round, oval, triangular. Uh, we can say beautiful, pretty for lady. We can say handsome, attractive for boys. Uh, Square face, long face, some of, of those um, uh, boys have a mustache or, or have a beard. Uh, we have freckles also. Um, we can say also ugly <laughs> if you don't like the people. Okay, so uh, having that, uh, having reminded that, we said that we can have a light skin, medium skin, or dark skin, depending on your color. Uh, and uh, again, we have blonde, black, red, and brown hair. But we also talk about uh, personality. We can describe people not only talking about physical description, but also talking about uh, personality. For example, something that is boring, aburrido, shy, timido, adventurous, aventurero, sensible, sensible, confident, alguien que me da confianza, ¿verdad? Eh, hardworking, trabajador, interesting, interesante, loyal, alguien leal, eh, selfish, es como alguien egoísta, solo para mí, ¿verdad? Bold, es como agrandado, eh, selfish, ya dijimos egoísta, eh, Dishonest, bueno, honest, puede ser honesto, dishonest, deshonesto, and so on. So I want, I will stop here saying the meanings because you can look around of the meanings, uh, you can look about the meanings, meanings on the dictionary later. But I want to say is that you have different adjectives for describing personality uh, of the people. Uh, not only to talk about the body uh, or the age or the eyes, or hair, but also about personality. And here, um, it, we, we are going to continue here today. And then you have that for age, we can talk about a baby, we can talk about a child, if it's only one, but if we have more than one, we say children. If we have two or more, we say children. Uh, kids, kids, uh, it's similar to children, okay? Um, but it's when they are a little bit uh, older, cuando están un poquito más grandecito, eh, decimos kids, ¿verdad? Eh, just están un poquito más grandecitos. Eh, que babies, ¿verdad? Eh, young, eh, teens, teenagers. Eh, teenagers is from when you start counting 13, until 19, that's the age of the teens, teenagers. Uh, old is the elderly, okay? Uh, so hair color, it's, as we said, uh, black, brown, blonde, fair, red, gray. We can say light and dark also. Uh, for height, we can say, I am short, I am medium height, I'm average height, I'm tall, I'm fairly, I'm quiet, I'm pretty, I'm very. Uh, we can say very short, uh, pretty short, quite short, okay? Um, and that's it, and that's the way you use, or you can say uh, pretty tall, very tall, okay? Uh, 
for building or weight, we can say I am thin, which is equal to skinny, delgado, ¿verdad? Slim is equal to slender. Chubby is equal to plump. Fat, heavy, overweight. Okay. Uh, for hairstyle, we can say straight, wavy, curly, sticky, teased, bold. For hair length, as you remember, we say short, long, shoulder length, medium length. Okay, that's it. So um, I remember that I told you to please um, have a person to talk about. Recuerdo que les dejé la tarea, ¿verdad? De que trajéramos la descripción de alguien, ¿verdad? Para hablar de esa persona utilizando esos adjetivos. Um, habíamos visto ya también la los, los colores de los ojos, eyes color, eh, skin complexion and color, eh, special features. Special features are, for example, pretty, handsome, good looking or attractive, eh, that the person has a, a mustache or a bird or a mole or freckles or dimples. Okay, so eh, we can also describe people by the clothes, clothes they are wearing. For example, tonight I'm wearing uh, blues, I'm wearing pants, I'm wearing my shoes, for example. And I'm wearing glasses also, and so on. You can, you can describe people uh, also because of the, the clothes they are wearing. And here I have more adjectives for describing uh, personality. Possible traits and negative traits. ¿Verdad? Eh, aspectos positivos y aspectos negativos de una persona. A positive trait is hardworking, dedicated, smart, smart, clever, brainy, sensible, friendly, outgoing. Outgoing es como llevadero, ¿verdad? Se lleva bien con todos. Extrovert, extrovertido. Talkative, le gusta conversar. Uh, Chari, podemos tener una conversación. Easy going, eh, igual que eh, llevadero, ¿verdad? O alguien que es fácil de, de tratar. Eh, even tempered, es eh, alguien un poquito temperamental, pero, pero se puede todavía llevar una buena relación. Quiet, peaceful, generous or fair. Eh, considerate, polite, kind. Loving, self-confident, decisive, warm, pleasant, nice, fun, amusing, um, lively, witty, happy, cheerful, reliable, honest, solid, uh, thoughtful, and caring. For negative traits, we have the opposite. Uh, for example, the opposite of a hardworking is a lazy. ¿Verdad? El opuesto de un trabajador es un dedicado, eh, Aragán. El opuesto de un dedicado es careless, ¿no? Alguien que es como descuidado. Eh, apathetic, clumsy, and so on. Like, I don't like that word, but it says stupid. Naive, simple-minded, unfriendly, cold, hostile, silent, reserved. Intolerant, critical, noisy, loud, uh, mean, greedy, unfair, rude, unpolite, nasty, unkind, insecure, shy, unsure, cold, bitter, nasty, boring, dull, sad, again, bitter, moody, sulky, dishonest, corrupt, false, careless, inattentive. Okay, so I hope that people you will describe is not in the part of the negative traits, okay? Mm. Okay, pueden abrir sus micrófonos, chicos. Vamos a ver. Ahí estamos. Okay. Entonces, eh, vamos a repetir un poquito para aprendernos estas pronunciaciones. Y luego voy a pedirles que eh, hagamos el description, ¿verdad? En el siguiente ejercicio. 
Uh, tell me the name of your best friend or the, your special person that you will describe uh, tonight. Uh, what does he or she look like? And what kind of person is he or she? When we ask what kind of person, we are talking about personality, okay? Cuando preguntamos qué tipo de persona es, what kind of, what kind of person he or she is, we are talking about personality. Very good. Let's repeat. Hardworking. Hardworking. Hard Dedicated. 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 Smart. 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 Clever. 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 Brain. 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 Sensible. Sensible. Friendly. 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 Uh, outgoing. Outgoing. Extrovert. 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 Talkative. 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 Chatty. 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 Easy going. Easy going. going. Even tempered. Even tempered. Even tempered. Uh, quiet. 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 Peaceful. Peaceful. Generous. Generous. Fair. 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 Considerate. Considerate. Polite. 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 Kind. 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 Loving. 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 Self-confident. 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 Decisive. Decisive. Warm. Warm. Pleasant. Pleasant. Nice. Nice. nice, nice, fun, fun, fun. amusing, amusing. Amus Fíjense que aquí hay es, uh, creo que es un error porque es lovely, que es como mm. amoroso, pero aquí uh -huh. es el lively y es lovely. Aquí hay un error. Oigan, eh, witty, Lord. ah, vividor. <ríe> No, <risa> qué malo. <risa> Pero Arnold rapidito le encontró un niño. <risa> no, es lovely. Es positivo, no está bien. <risa> no. En <risa> Salvador y en Context, no. <risa> ok. Witty, happy. 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 Cheerful. 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 Reliable, 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 honest, honest, honest. solid, solid, solid. Eh, estamos solid, eh, thoughtful, no, thoughtful, 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 caring, caring, caring. Okay, very good. And in the other part, in the negative traits, we have lazy, lazy, lazy. teacher. See? Teacher, sorry, puede ponerla en modo presentation. Sí, ahorita voy. Solo estoy buscándoles el meaning de witty, que ya se me olvidó. Solo déjenme ver que... A ver. Vaya, para poderla ver yo también, porque... Ahí estamos, perfecto. Eh, quick and inventive verbal humor. Es como alguien que eh, tiene un buen sentido del humor. Characterized by quick and inventive verbal humor. O sea, alguien muy eh, ingenioso, ¿verdad? Alguien de muy buen humor, alguien... Eh, sí, eso, ¿verdad? De, 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 de buen sentido del humor, diríamos. Ok, let's repeat. Lazy. 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 Careless. 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 Apathetic. 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 Clumsy. Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. Naive. 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 Simple. 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 Simple minded. Simple. Minded. 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 Unfriendly. 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 Cold. 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 Hostile. 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 Silent. 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 Reserved. 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 Tolerant. Tolerant. Critical. 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 Noisy. 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 Loud. 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 Mean. 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 Greedy. Greedy. Unfair. 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 Rude. 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 Um, Rude. Impolite. 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 Nasty. 
Okay, very good. Those are the negative traits. So let's try and make our best effort to don't be in this side. <laughs> okay, so now it's our chance to describe a person, okay? So I'm going to start describing uh, someone, okay? I'm going to describe, let's see. Uh, we are going to describe my friend Melissa. My friend Melissa, uh, and I, will, I will use this, these words that I have, okay? My, fame, my, my friend Melissa is a, is a teenager. Um, she's um, average height. Uh, she's um, uh, slim, uh, her, her hair color is uh, black, and her hair style is uh, wavy. Uh, she has uh, in her hair shoulder length, and let's see what else can I add. Uh, her skin complexion is brunette. Uh, she has a tanned skin. She has black eyes. Um, she's pretty. And uh, she wears um, shorts and sandals or tennis shoes, and she wears a necklace and watch, okay? And we can say that's positive traits, that she's hardworking, dedicated, and smart, okay? So, uh, after uh, following this model, I would like that you can talk about uh, that person using those adjectives. Okay, so I'm going to start to start saying. Tell me uh, the name of your of your best friend, and then you will say the name. Then you will say what does uh, he or she look like. Ese, what does she or he look like? Es eh, cómo se ve, verdad? Cómo se describe físicamente. Pero cuando yo pregunto, what kind of person is he or she? I'm talking about personality, ¿verdad? Cuando yo hago la pregunta, ¿qué tipo de persona es él o ella? Ya no estoy hablando acerca de physical characteristics, but I'm talking about uh, personality. Ok, uh, whenever you're ready, let me know. Cuando estén listos, me avisan. Y eh, yo comienzo y luego eh, usted sigue preguntándole a los compañeros. ¿Verdad? Usted retoma las preguntas que yo le voy a hacer al primer voluntario que quiera comenzar. Ok, I will give you one minute to think about your presentation. <coughs> ok. Ok. Quien se anime primero me dice. ¿Qué estás haciendo, mami? ¿Por qué ya te ha ido a ver todo? No. No. Okay, someone ready? Alguien está listo? 
Si no eh. le voy a cantar, mi persona favorita. <risa> <risa> Piensen en la persona <risa> favorita, por favor. <risa> Es bien Hola, fácil. Ale. Es bien Hola, fácil. Alejandro Sainz. Ajá. Eh, es, okay. es bien teacher. fácil hablar cuando nos acordamos de la persona favorita, ¿verdad? Se nos <ríe> iluminan los ojitos así, empezamos a hablar. <ríe> ok. Ok. Ok, no eh, coge. Mi teacher, I going. Ah, ok. To try. Let me ask. Tell me the name of your best friend. Um, my best friend is Isabel. Okay. Um, what does going, she look like? Um, okay. She, she is um, a medium height. Uh-huh. Um, uh, she is a thin complexion. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> Uh, her hair is long hair. Mm -hmm. um, her face is um, brown. Mm -hmm. um, her, her hairstyle is straight. Mm -hmm. um, and she's middle aged. Okay. Um, And um, she's average build. Okay, very good. Thank you, Noe. Nice. Uh, so okay. now I would like that. Uh, are you going to talk about personality or that's it? Um, <clears throat> let me. Uh, because I, I, I want to ask, what kind of person is he, is she? Okay. Let me sing. Uh, she's, um, she's hardworking. Mm -hmm. um, um, dedicated. Mm -hmm. Um, she's nice and she's happy. Okay, very good. Nice. Good description. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay, Arnold. Okay, very good. So, uh, who would like to continue? ¿A quién le gustaría continuar? Ok, uh, so it's Noel's time to ask to someone. Ahora Noel le tiene que preguntar a alguien. Entonces, so you choose Noel. Who are you going to, to ask? Um, Así como yo le pregunté a usted, tell me the name of oh. your best friend. Best friend, oh. uh, what does he or she looks like, depending on if it's he or she. And what kind of person is he or she? Okay. Um, uh, Katia, hello. 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 Uh, Katia. How are you? Uh, can you talk me about your friend? Okay. How, how does she or he like? She. Okay. okay. The name? Maybe you can start asking the name. Her name is Carmen Maria. Okay, very good. Okay. Carmen is medium age. She is short and skinny. Mm -hmm. Her skin complexion is brunette. Mm -hmm. Her eyes are brown. Her hair is brown and medium hair. Mm -hmm. um, her wear Blouse, mm -hmm. pants, earrings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Only. And the next question? What, what kind of person? Kind of okay, person? Ask, ask him. Okay, ask her, sorry. Uh, what kind of person is she? 
She is friendly, lovely, smart, caring, delicate. And how do you say despistada? <laughs> es, eh, ay, es olvidadiza, permítame, quiero ver si está aquí. Puede ser un poquito careless. Careless. Careless, ajá, que, que se, le, se le cuida un poquito. Ajá. Sí, sí. Y desconfiada. Mm, sería, a ver. Un, un confident. Unconfident, pero ahí es donde estaba. Yes, unconfident. Confident. Por aquí estaba. Uh -huh. Sí, que no le confía okay. a nadie. Ok, very good. <laughs> ok, next. So, Katia, now is your time, is your turn to ask someone. David. You, you choose. Ok, David, Katia has chosen you. Oh, hi. Hi, my dear. Ok. Ok. Tell me the name of your best friend. I talk about uh, Glenda. Okay. okay. What does she look like? Uh, she is pretty. She is medium high and thin. Um, her face is oval. Uh, Uh, her hair is black. Mm -hmm. uh, her eyes are brown. Mm -hmm. uh, her skin is white. Mm -hmm. What kind of person is she? Uh, she she is her hard work. Um, generally, hard working. Uh, hard working. Mm -hmm. uh, generally, dedicated, lovely, happy, and um, it's good person. It's a good person. It's a good person. Yes, lovely. Yes. Lovely. Yes. Okay, very good. Congratulations, Katia and David. So, David, it's your turn to ask to someone else to describe. Uh, His or her best friend? Okay. Um, Isabel. Isabelita, it's your turn. I try, teacher. Okay, you do your best. Okay. Isabel, tell me the name of your best friend. Um, I talk about my son. Okay. Oh, okay. What's the What? name of your song? What's the, What's name, the name of your song? Uh, her, uh, his name is Alejandro. Okay, Alejandro, very good. So okay. you can say. What does he look like? Um, he is... Uh, um, Yeah, I, I will help you, maybe. Okay. Okay? Okay. Uh, repeat me, please. Uh, how... Uh, what does he look like? Okay. Um... Uh, I, f first the age. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, is a adult. Is an adult. He's an adult. Okay. Is an adult. Um, high. Uh, medium. Medium height. Medium height. Eight. Medium height. Ah, me medium height. Uh -huh. Ajá. Okay. Um, Building uh, is um, slim. Okay. Uh, her color is brown. Okay. Her style mm -hmm. is curly. Mm -hmm. uh, 
hi uh, en hair length hair hair length es como una z al final hair length hair long length no long ah you you're saying long yes yes <laughs> yes. yes okay very good okay what about the the other features mm. Is wow. skin complex? Mm -hmm. Is uh, ah, you you say you previously said ya dijo verdad esto sería br brunette. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Um, the complexion. Uh, maybe you can talk about the eyes. Uh, he have um uh, has brown he has. eyes uh, he has he brown. has brown eyes mm -hmm. um he he is uh, handsome attractive handsome mm -hmm. handsome um has a mustache or a beard no. No. Uh, okay. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, clothes. Uh, okay. He, he wears. Wear, wears. He wears shorts or mm -hmm. pants and shirt. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Look. Uh, thank you, Isabelita, and thank you, David. Vean, eh, hay dos formas de hablar de acerca de, de la skin complexion, ¿verdad? Podemos decir, he is white, or he is black, or he is brunette. O podemos decir, he has dark skin, que sería como piel oscura, ¿verdad? O brown piel skin. Oscura. Uh -huh. Brown skin es como menos morena, como un cafecito, Moreno. ¿verdad? Eh, ajá. Light claro. brown. Light brown es como, ah, light brown. como un trigueño, ¿verdad? Un light brown. Um, un tanner skin es como blanquito, pero no tan blanquito, sino que un poquito bronceadito. ¿Ok? Eh, y fair o pale skin es como así bien blanquito, ¿verdad? Bien clarito. Um, so, that's it. Entonces podemos hablar de dos maneras, pero si utilizamos el has, Normalmente al final lleva la palabra skin, porque estamos hablando del, del color y luego skin, que es de la piel, ¿verdad? La piel. Uh -huh. Ok, uh, de igual manera podemos hablar, eh, eh, decimos, eh, he or she is pretty, handsome, good looking, attractive. Pero cuando ya hablamos de tener bigote o barba, mustache, hair, you say has. She ha, uh, he has, en este caso. Ok, okay. very good. Uh, Isabelita, would you like to ask from someone else? Let's see, we have pending. Uh, Kat, no, Katy already participated. Uh, Larisa is, is pending to participate. And we have here Fernando Portillo. Hello, mm -hmm. Fernando. It's good to have you here in our class today. Hello. Hi, how are you? Okay, very good. Uh, teacher, I, I need uh, help me. Uh, help me, please. In the okay. in the to do question. Okay, very good. I will move the the slide. Okay, those are the questions. So you will ask. Um, let's see. Um, let's see if we can talk to Larissa. Are you available, Larissa? Hello, Larissa. Ok. Sí, aquí estoy. Aquí ok, estoy. ok, great. No voy a ver el micrófono. Ok, Larissa. Um, Isabel is going to ask you about your best friend. So, uh, okay. are you ready for the question? Yes, yes, okay. I'm ready. Ok, very good. Go ahead. Tell me the name of your best friend. My best friend is Rebecca. And what does she look like? She is she's a middle-aged woman. 
She is a tall person. She's a slim. Her hair is dark, long, and straight. Her face is oval. Her skin is white. She has green eyes. She almost always wear blouse and pants. Uh -huh. Sometimes she wear dress and and always wear high heel. Okay. And what kind of person is she? She is hardworking, serious, honest, and a nice person. Okay, very good. Thank you, Larissa and Isabel. Just a couple of uh, corrections. When you talk about a third person, you say, uh, in, uh, if it's um, a lady, uh, you say uh, woman, okay? You say woman, because if you say woman, uh, it's not correct because it's the plural and the plural you say women okay so okay. woman woman is for only one lady and women mm -hmm. is for more than one lady it's two ladies or more okay okay and uh, you have to say when it's a third person you say she wears okay you have to add the letter s to the verb because we are talking about a third person Okay, okay, that's it. But for the other aspect, you did a great job. Very good. Uh, so, Larissa, could you please ask to Fernando Portillo the question? Fernando, it's good to have you with us here. Uh, my name is Patricia, and I'm your facilitator in this class. Okay? Okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Welcome to the class. And in this space, the idea is that you can speak more than I do because it's your chance to practice. So what I do is to facilitate, and okay. only when I see that the instructions are not clear enough, I speak a little bit of Spanish, but the rest is English. Okay. Very good. So Larissa, go ahead, please. Okay. Uh, Fernando, tell me the name of your best friend. Uh, my best friend is Veronica. What does she look like? Uh, okay. Uh, she's an uh, adult. Uh, she's a middle height. Middle height. Mm -hmm. uh, she's uh, thin. Mm -hmm. uh, she has a brown uh, hair. Uh, she has a uh, strained hair. Mm -hmm. uh, she has a short hair. Mm -hmm. uh, she is brunette. Mm -hmm. um, uh, she has uh, brown eyes and big eyes. Um, she's pretty. Um, she wears um, a dress sometimes. Um, only this one. Okay. Okay. And the last question, Larissa, what kind of what? What kind of person is she? Okay, okay I she's, will help you positive in the positive traits. Okay, she's uh, hardworking, dedicated. She's smart. She's very smart. Um, she's um, some lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> a little Sometimes. bit. A, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Um, she's very nice, a nice person, and and very happy. Okay, very okay. good. Thank you, Larissa. Thank you, Fernando, for participating. So I saw, I saw my friend, but he disconnected again. Okay, I think we finished. 
uh, with this part. Thank you very much for sharing about your, your favorite person or your friend, okay? That's the way um, we can use those adjectives, positive traits, uh, in most of the cases to describe a person. Okay, here I have an exercise that I would like you to help me to complete. It says, complete the sentences below with the words in the box. Look like, what, what uh, he like or she like, straight hair, upset, talkative, round, magic, and like me. For example, like me is um, already checked because it's number one. My brother and I both play sports. He, he is like me. Mi hermano y yo ambos jugamos o practicamos deporte, ¿verdad? Él es como yo. Number two, my sister doesn't have curly hair. She has? A straight hair. Okay, very good. If it's not curly, it's the opposite, right? So we say straight <coughs> hair. Oops. Okay, very good. So what about um, number three? It says, John um, isn't a quiet person. In fact, he is very talkative. talkative. Yes, very good because uh, she is not shy. It's, opposite. it's the opposite. It's the opposite. Yes, very good. It's the opposite. So let's see. Talkative. Okay, number four. It says, uh, your aunt is asking about so about what what, 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 what is your aunt, aunt what is like John, okay. your aunt like okay what's because uh, the other part uh, is there like okay like. Yeah. Okay, uh, our teacher looks. Mm -hmm. What made him so angry? A sign upset. on him? Upset. 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 Uh -huh. upset. It's not me, right? It's another teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I hope so. Yes. <laughs> Upset <laughs> es como nuestra maestra en, se ve molesta. Enojado. Se ve molesta. Upset es molesta. What, uh, what uh, made him so angry? Que la puso tan enojada, ¿verdad? Okay, very good. Uh, what about number six? Uh, it's round. The sun? Round. The sun isn't square. It is? Round. Magic. Round. Mm. Redondo, wow. ¿verdad? Lo contrario de cuadrado es, o mm -hmm. un opuesto, round, It's redondo. Cool. Round. Okay, very good. What about, let's see, number seven. Uh, what, do, what does Sam look um, like? Look. Yeah. Look like. Look. Oops. Okay. He stole and wear glasses. Okay, very good. And the last one, number eight. Uh, what did she get? Why, uh, excuse me, how did she get a rabbit out of her hat? It must be magic. magic. Okay, very good. It's like a magician. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice, very good. So, in order to practice uh, the sentences, let's repeat. My brother and I both play sports. My brother and I both, both play sports. sports. He's like me. He's, He's like, like, me. like me. My sister doesn't have curly hair. My, My sister, sister doesn't, doesn't have curly hair. hair. She has straight hair. She, She has, has straight, straight hair. hair. John isn't a quiet person. John, John isn't a quiet, quiet person. person. In fact, he's very... 
Our teacher looks upset. What made him so angry? What made him so angry? The sun isn't square. The sun isn't square. It's round. It's round. What does Sam look like? What does Sam look like? He's tall and wear glasses. He's tall and, and, and wears glasses. And wears glasses. Wears glasses. glasses. How Wars did she get? Glasses. How did she get a rabbit out of her hat? How, how did she, did she get, get a rabbit out of her, her hat? hat? It must be magic. It must, it must be, be magic. magic. Very good. Magic. Nice. Okay, so. Uh, with this exercise, we have tried to practice a similar one than uh, the, this one that, that appears in your platform that says she is very she tall. Is very okay, so I'm going to stop sharing the presentation because I want to share the platform for you to see uh, how we have advanced today. So today we have advanced talking about a person uh, similar. But I want to invite you to go to the platform and listen, listen and watch this video uh, the number of times you consider pertinent for you to listen and understand it perfectly and also to practice. Um, also, we have advanced uh, with uh, lesson 4.4 that says that you will learn to, how to describe, ask, and answer questions about appearance. That's why I ask um, first one of you and then everyone continue asking to your class, uh, to the classmate, okay, to the partner uh, about a person. Uh, then uh, we learn to describe people uh, having general appearance adjectives like tall, uh, talking about what this person uh, wears. Uh, the age, the height, and hair, okay? So we did that, but you can come to the platform and also listen and watch this video. Uh, then, finally, I want to stop here and say that uh, please go to platform and try to solve exercise 4.6. This is the knowledge check. So uh, you, you will need here to write the proper uh, question. For example, for number one, if the answer is my brother is 26 years old, what do you think is the question? Oh, how, old how old is your brother? Okay, how yeah. old is your brother? So, Teacher, no, no, yeah? Yo puse esa, respuesta, esa pregunta, pero no me la acepta. Como. Me sale mal a mí también. Sí. Mm, y si le agregan, eh, how old your brother is? Mm, podría mm -hmm. ser. Ok, let's try, let's try. And look for the spaces. Vean por los espacios, ¿verdad? Muchas veces eso también afecta. Ok, and what about number two? What do you think is the, is the question in that case? Este... How tall, how tall? Oh, height. Yeah, they are talking height. about height. Okay. Ah, okay. In number three, what they are talking about? It says Sharon has brown hair. Maybe the question is what? What color? Yeah, what color, what color is, is Sharon's hair? Is Sharon hair? Okay. So number four, it says no, he doesn't. Uh, she wears contact lenses. So if she doesn't, what they are talking about? What color is the eyes? She no, maybe oh, she about eyes. glasses, like mine. Because it says, no, she doesn't. She wears contact lenses, okay? 
they are talking about uh, glasses, maybe. Does she use wear glasses? Wear glasses. Yes, very good. Uh, what about number five? The answer is he's tall and very good looking. So they are asking about what does he look look like? Like, but that yeah. right. Very good. Number six. My sister' hair is medium length. So they are talking about a uh, hair length uh, and so on. So I have to stop here, but I need that you go to the platform and that you start uh, that you start. Uh, guessing the questions, uh, trying the questions until you complete, okay? Uh, okay. So for tomorrow, we are going to continue uh, a lesson 4.7 that says that you will listen a description of five people in order to develop participants' listening skills. Oh, listen, this is a listening exercise, so you need to complete here in the platform also. Okay, so we will skip and then we will continue with 4.9, talking about uh, using modifiers uh, with particip uh, participles and prepositions. So this is for tomorrow. So you need to complete the two task, uh, tasks in the platform. Okay, is everything clear? Yes. yes teacher. Okay, very good, nice. So it has been a pleasure to have you here in the class today. I hope to see you tomorrow. And please, if you have any question about the platform, let us know. You can also write to Marvin and the staff if you have any technical issues, okay? Okay, okay very good. See you. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.